friends welcome back to my channel as you probably might have been noticing from the last week that every monday to saturday we discuss we improve our vocabulary and on sundays we'll discuss english conversations so let's begin with today's video have you ever noticed or have you ever been in a situation when you want to wish someone good luck without using the term good luck so today I'll tell you how you can wish someone good luck without saying good luck. In simpler language, let's discuss a few alternatives for good luck. First one, Godspeed. This can be used when a person is starting a new journey to become something and you want to give them your best wishes. So you can say that, I wish you Godspeed. So if your friend's starting a new journey to become, say, a programmer, you can wish them, I wish you Godspeed. Second one, Fingers crossed. Now this one is very famous and you might have noticed that people use it as an emoji as well. It basically is a symbolic representation of luck. So situations can be like, you know, you're getting a result and you're pretty nervous. You can just say, fingers crossed. I hope everything goes well. Or your friend's getting something, say a trophy, and they're not sure if they will be getting a prize. And they ask you that, I'm so nervous. You can just say, fingers crossed. Third one, knock them dead. This can be used when someone needs to be energized or someone needs encouragement. For example, your friend is going for a stage performance, a presentation, an orientation, or a dance performance. You can just say, go girl, knock them dead with your performance. And it doesn't mean that you go on knocking people dead. It's an idiomatic phrase, so don't take it literally. The next one is similar to this one and it's called blow them away. Again, it's used to fuel people up so that they are energized, you know, they feel very, very encouraged to do the thing. They are not nervous. You can just say, go boy, blow them away with your speech. The last one is called, uh, you do great. Now, this one can be used when people are nervous. So this one can be used in two ways, a reassurance as well as a way of wishing good luck. So if someone is going for an exam, you can just say, you'll do great, don't be nervous. Or if someone is, you know, literally biting their nails off out of nervousness, you can just say, oh, don't worry, I know you'll do great. So this was it for the alternatives. But before you quit, I would like to warn you that please be very careful with your expressions and your tone. You know, what if you're wishing it should feel heartfelt, it should sound heartfelt. Uh, you don't, you know, go or sarcastic on them. So be very careful with your facial expressions and your tone. So this was it for this video. I'll see you guys in the upcoming videos. Also do like, share and subscribe to my channel. 